Hello friends, how are you? My name is Rizwan Afiz and in the previous video we were talking about the uh, single stranded negative uh, sense RNA virus. We have also talked about the uh, single stranded positive sense RNA virus. In today's video we will talk about the double stranded RNA viruses. So first of all let's talk about the example. Uh, rotavirus and rheoviruses are the very common example. Okay, now let's talk about its replicating cycle. Obviously, the process of attachment, penetration, and release of genome has been explained many times, so you must be aware of it. Uh, the point to remember is that double stranded <coughs> RNA virus is the uh, little bit different from the single stranded RNA virus because double stranded RNA virus does not occur in the uh, eukaryotic cell. So it means they will easily be identified by the host cell and will be destroyed. So they have to stay inside the capsid throughout the replicating cycle. They have so that they remain intact from the host cell antiviral mechanism. Okay, so it means uh, along with the double stranded. Uh, RNA, the nucleocapsid of the virus will also remain intact in this case and the RNA polymerase will also come along with the nucleocapsid and double-stranded RNA, uh, double-stranded RNA. This uh, double-stranded, uh, this RNA-dependent RNA polymerase will be having both activity, transcriptase activity like it will help in the transcription and replicate activity as well. So with the help of transcriptase activity, it will convert this double stranded RNA into a positive single stranded RNA and for this purpose, it will use negative strand and make a positive sense, uh, positive RNA, okay. So in this way, a positive RNA positive RNA will be formed. Now this positive RNA will attach on the host ribosome and the process of translation will take place and different viral proteins will be formed. Different viral proteins will be formed. Now, now these viral protein, they will assemble to form a nucleocapsid and this nucleocapsid will take in the positive RNA into it and the RNA dependent RNA polymerase also because now this RNA dependent RNA polymerase is going to perform its replicase activity and it is going to convert this positive RNA into a double stranded RNA by adding a negative strand over it by adding a negative strand and you know that this double stranded RNA will easily be identified the host cell. So this process should be taken place within the nucleocapsid so that uh, uh, double stranded RNA can uh, remain safe from the host antiviral activity. Other than this, uh, RNA dependent RNA polymerase replicase activity can also directly convert double stranded RNA into two into another copy of double stranded RNA by the process of replication by following the semi conservative models like first of all it will be a, a two strands will be separated and against each set a strand another strand will be added in this way one double stranded RNA will be converted into two double stranded RNAs. The detailed process of replication of uh, uh, RNA and DNA has been explained by other set of videos. You can watch them uh, for your knowledge. Okay, so in this way two RNA double stranded RNA will be formed. Now with the help of other viral protein, now this nucleocapsid and double stranded RNA, they will get assembled and a complete viral structure will be formed. Now this complete viral structure is ready to go out of the cell and infect nearby cells. Okay, so this was the whole mechanism of replication of double stranded uh, RNA viruses. I hope you like my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you may get notification for the future videos. Please don't forget to like and share this video as well. Thank you so much.